and that's about 0.4 millihenries, maybe a little bit less than that. Uh, the meter hunts on these very small inductors here, so I'll stay around there. Now I want to show you when we hook two of these in series, the inductance should add up. And you see that actually they do. Give you a better reading on that meter. But now watch what happens when I place the one coil on top of the other. Okay, gotta make sure I'm shortened there. Notice now it's gone up to uh, somewhere around the 1.4, somewhere in that area. If I flip it over, the rodent coil over, it drops back to about what the single one was before. I'll raise it up. Now the magnetic fields are not together, and this is the way they are in series. And flip it over, and as, as we lower it down, the inductance adds the magnetic coupling the magnetic field in the center of the coils. Now, if we parallel the coils, it does the same thing, except of course the highest rating would be half. So let me just show you that. We'll just do that, okay? So I'm going to put black to black. Set them off here so they're not coupled. Red to red. And we'll connect the meter. Now these are in parallel. Okay, so notice the the inductance is, is approximately half of what it was when we had them in series. Okay, and let's go ahead and put one on top of the other. Notice they add, flip it over, and they divide. So this is very interesting. This is one of the first tests I've made, uh, how the uh, fields are interacting. I'm going to modify my jig. I'm going to add pegs. You've already seen I marked it uh, for drilling. Let me zoom in there a little bit. I've already marked for drilling additional holes. So these will be wound in the opposite direction and the windings now will be interwoven between the two coils. And we'll make some tests with that and see what comes up. So that's all for now. Okay, what I wanted to do was replace my rod in my HHO over Unity uh, generator circuit with a two Starship uh, rodent type coils. And uh, what I came, what I found out was kind of shocking. Uh, actually, I'm using a, a dual Starship uh, rodent coil as my load. And uh, the uh, windings are in series. And this has replaced my normal HHO cell. So it's neat to be able to use this besides just on a cell. And here's kind of the uh, close-up of it. It's Each winding is interwoven with the other. And uh, this is my first try on that. But here was the shocker. I could only pass 600 mils of current to the, to the load. And uh, that's compared to uh, using the rod uh, I can pass almost 9 amps 
without any adjustment. So I tr went back and forth, back and forth to see if I made a mistake, and I sure didn't. Uh, it passes uh, with the rod circuit, 9 amps, uh, drawing 5.1 from the power supply. So then I put, I took one leg of the rod winding off and substitute a classic rodent, uh, rodent uh, coil, and basically the same thing. Uh, I got uh, 150 mils, and uh, that wasn't very much to speak of uh, compared to the 9 amps I get with the, uh, the uh, regular rod, and I'll have to do some more testing on that.